Okay, we are in about 10 feet of water right here, and uh, I'm going to lay the camera down, and I'm going to rig three rods. Here we go. Hopefully you can see some stuff. Rod number one going in right now. It'll all be filmed in real time. Two. Rod number two going in right now. Right off the side of the boat. Okay, that should be all ready. Good. Okay. Rod number three. Yeah, I was able to get number three in the water. How about that? Well, not yet. It's not in yet. I'm rigging up number three right now. Putting my bait on. Got a nice live killie. Good. Going in. Okay, we're in the prime spot right now. How about that? I got all three rods in the water before I kind of have a chance to sit back and relax. I can watch my rods. Maybe I'll film the rods. How about that? There's rod number one. There's number two. There's number three. We're sitting in our rod holders. One, two, and our one, two, three. Oh, looks like we're getting a bite over there. Number one. Let's check out, keep an eye on number one, see what happens. Thought I saw a bite happening as that boat sped by us. Oh, look like number three might have something going on here. Yep, fish on. Number three is on. Okay, here we go. I think I'll check the other rods while I keep that one on. All right, so number three is on. Oh, number two is on. There we are. See that? Number two on. Keep that in the rod holder. Sorry, this filming is bad. I, it's all herky jerky. Let's check number one. Nope. I just put the camera on and I decided to do another drift with the three rods and bang, bang. I got two right away. I'm up to 41 now. I'm still in a hole of fish. We have a decent drift, although it's going across now, so it makes our drifts a lot faster. And, you know, can't hurt. Let's try it again. Go right in the same spot and see how it happens. Okay, start with number one. Number one in the water. used killie that I used for a previous fish. So this one had already caught a fish on it, so I'm gonna a big one though, and I put him back in the bucket because he was still somewhat alive. So let's see if we can catch another fish on the same killie. Alright, two. Two is in the water. Let's go get a bait for number three. smaller bait. I'm running out of the big ones. So, let's try a smaller one on this one. Number three. There's a the little guy. I'll put that in the water. Alright, I got all three in without any rods going off. film while we're catching a fish here. Looks like one has a fish on. Let's go check that out. Yo, that's a nice one there. Alright, number one is on. Well, I'm not sure.
sure if it's a nice one or not, but it's a fish. It feels pretty nice now. Get a crab net out for this one. He didn't like being in the crab net. I think I'm just going to hoist them up. Alright. Watching carefully on those other rods because you never know. Nice looking fluke right there. It's number 42. About 17 and a half inches. Back in. Oh, is that a bite on that? Hard to tell if that's a bite. We went off our drift pretty quickly, so I'm going to uh, swing back around. Our drift is going across the channel now, which is a lot more difficult to do. Drifts only last a couple minutes, so I'm not going to film anymore. But 42 fish, I'll give you an update the next time I film. Oh, I thought I was filming that whole time, but I think I wasn't now. I was narrating and talking for probably about 10 minutes and it wasn't even recording. Just so we know. And the day of fishing is over. With a grand total of 63 fluke today. A new world record for me. And guess what? I had to stop. You saw it. Completely out of bait. I even used the tiniest ones in my bucket and I was still catching them. 63. And uh, funny thing is, no other boats are here. Everybody gave up. I'm the only one. I could not stop catching these fish. I'll give you a little summary later when we're back at the barn. I kept five nice ones about 20 inches each. One was about 24 was the biggest. All right, got to get back. So long. Um, I don't think I showed you the close-up of my hooks, but it's a seeker right here. The Gamagatsu Octopus size 4. Can you see that? There they are, little tiny hooks, size of my thumbnail. Okay, heading in after a one wonderful day fishing for fluke out in the Shrewsbury River. <laughs>